Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'll be sharing with you my 17 beauty favorites for 2017 and we'll start off with the makeup items because they're the most exciting. So let's start. My first favorite and also one of the things that inspired this video is this concealer. This is the Lancome Long Lasting Softening Concealer with SPF 30. So um, basically I spent 2018 trying to find a suitable concealer for my under eyes. I just found like at the beginning of this year every concealer I put under there is just really really drying and also I have a line under this eye that's really like deep so every concealer I was using exaggerated that line um, until I found this concealer and also this concealer does not dry my under eyes out it doesn't accentuate that line and also it covers the darkness I have under the eyes so perfectly and also since this has SPF 30 it really helps in the anti-aging department for the under eye area so I've been really enjoying this concealer for my blush favorites we'll start off with this one this is the Lancome Cushion Blush Subtile in the shade 032 Splash Coriol and you guys heard of cushion foundations but this is a cushion blush and the color in here kind of looks scary but actually this is like the most natural looking blush I've ever came across it's super easy to apply because um, it is a cushion so you use a cushion to apply it onto the cheeks really easy to blend out onto the cheeks and also the color is just so beautiful it's like a really natural um, flush on the cheeks on the cheeks when we talk about blush you say on the cheeks so much but yes I've been just loving this blush because it's really nice on the on your face I'm wearing it today you guys can't tell like where the blush starts or finishes you guys can tell this color there and it's really healthy on my face so I've been loving this one and also since I wear this blush um, on top of foundation and below powder it's really lasting all day long and also there's a airtight mechanism so it's really secure. The size of this compact is easy to bring around as well. So when I'm not using the cushion blush, I'll be using this one. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush in the shade Papaya. You guys can see the shade is actually really similar to the cushion blush before. This is a swatch, so it's like a like coral pink shade again. I've been loving these shades because they're super easy to wear. And also with the formulation of these um, what is it? Um, Laura Geller blushes, they're actually really good in a sense they're not wet or they're not really really drying, so it sticks onto your skin all day long and it's super easy to blend onto the cheeks as well. So I've been loving this one too. Another cheek product is this one. This is the It Cosmetics Hello Light Cream Highlighter in the shade Hello Light Cream. Wait, in the shade Radiance. But this is their cream highlighter. And you guys can see I've put a dent in this already because I've been using it every single day ever since I got it. And it's just this beautiful cream highlight. I put it on top of my cheeks here and also a bit on the cupid's bow. And it just gives you that really nice water radiance highlight on the face there's no large sparkles in this it's it's really hard to describe and this is the kind of highlight I've been searching for like high and low basically everywhere and this one just delivers the result again because this is a cream product it sticks on your face all day long and you guys can see it just gives you the most natural glow it's so beautiful and I basically can't stop using this because it's like my one-stop highlighter all of my expectations for highlighter is right in here so yes this is the it cosmetics hello light shade in the um, in radiance my next beauty favorite is this powder and this is the clay depot translucent loose powder and it's in this big canister because it's actually two compartments the first one is where the puff lifts and the second one is the powder. I actually don't use the puff because I like to go in with a brush to give a really light layer on the face and I've been really enjoying this powder because first of all it doesn't give you a powdery finish on the face you know a lot of powders you use it gives you like a matte finish on the face or it gives you a cakey finish this is nowhere near that um, when you have this powder on I'll usually set this powder all over the face except for my nose or area because this powder doesn't do oil control that well 
but all of the face is just so beautiful in that it keeps the radiance of your foundation or your highlight that you apply underneath and yet it still keeps the integrity of your foundation all day long like it just sets your makeup so beautifully without looking like you've put a powder on top and I've never come across a powder like this even though this is like um, I've tried a lot of other um, Japanese powders um, they'll say like you know it's radiance it's really nice and luminous it's because there's actually micro shimmers in those powders but for this powder there's no micro shimmers in there there's no kind of like reflective properties on when you apply onto the face you guys can just see it's kind of the radiance that I have put here with my highlighter or like you know it's just my natural kind of glow from my foundation and this one does not cover it up but it still keeps the integrity of your makeup all day long because it sets your makeup so beautifully and I've been loving this powder and since it comes in this huge canister and I'm pretty sure there's still a lot like I, I don't think I've touched like one tenth of the powder in there so it's really really long lasting as well so I've been loving this powder I'm not sure if I mentioned this last year, but this is my all-time favorite eyelash curler. This is the Koji Curving Eyelash Curler. And you guys can see the curvature, I'll put it against my face, the curvature of this eyelash curler. It's really round, so it's really great for those who have rounder eyes, and that's me. And I don't need to close my eyes to do my eyelashes. I can just basically keep my eyes open so I don't clamp myself and do my eyelashes. And I've never had an accident with this in terms of you know clamping my eyelid during the process. So I've been really loving this one. And also when you buy this, it actually comes with a travel case. So it's really, really safe to travel with as well. Some eyeshadow favorites and how I went about this is actually I went in my, into my collection and found items that I put a dent in. And the first one, and I'm sure there's no surprise here, is the NARS eyeshadow. It's their dual intensity eyeshadow and my shade is called Desmona. And I've been just loving this one. This is like the perfect purple mauve shade that I love wearing and I wear this on the outer corner of my eyes and along the lash line as well and it's just absolutely gorgeous and like dual intensity eyeshadows super long lasting super pigmented as you guys can see really easy to blend as well and I can't say more I just love this shade and I love this range too I have practically all of the shades within the dual intensity line by NARS and the next um, shadow I'm going to talk about is actually from the shade, same range as well. But I don't want to mention it as one of my favorites is because this is actually a limited edition. Not sure if you guys can get it anymore, but this shade is called Carry. And this is just the most beautiful muted rose shade, like romantic muted rose shade to have on the lids. I'm wearing both these shadows today on the eyes. And... You guys can't see much on my finger here, but it's just super gorgeous. Like, I can't put words to it when I'm having a lazy day. I just put this eyeshadow on because it just gives you a really nice wash of color on the eyes. The next eyeshadow, I'm gonna get a tissue. The next eyeshadow favorite is actually quite a recent discovery of mine. It's the um, Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill eyeshadows in the shade 8. Yeah, this is the silk eyeshadows in the shade 8. There's no other shade names underneath. But this is really similar to the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. It's so gorgeous, this shade. I've been wearing this in on the center of the lid space as a pop. And it's just so gorgeous. Oh my god. I, I don't need to say anymore. You guys just look at this color and, and know that I love it. <laughs> With those eyeshadows, I've been loving these brushes. They're the Tom Ford eyeshadow brushes in 11 and 12. And what I've been doing is, with Carrie, I'll use this 11 brush as an all-over lid, like wash of color. 
and also with Desmona I'll go in with 12 as a outer V and also along the lash line and then I'll go back with 11 as a blending because this brush you guys can see it's not so tapered at the end it still has a bit of fluffiness so you can use this as a blending brush and seriously this one is so versatile like on days where I don't want to use two brushes I can just get away with using one brush and these Tom Ford brushes are really great quality in that I've had these for maybe like more than two years and I've washed them so many times and the shapes of these have not changed and also they do not shed so I've been really loving these brushes and for anyone who wants to like have a one-stop brush or eyeshadow brush these are definitely the ones to go by the last makeup favorite I have is this one by Marc Jacobs and is their twinkle pop eye stick in the shade honey bunny and this one is a really gorgeous pink champagne shade Right here and I've been using this as an inner corner highlight and it's just really long lasting on that area and also it's really thin as well a lot of the other inner corner like glittery highlighty stuff I've used actually irritated the eyes because it has actual gl glitters in there but for this one it's super like I can't feel it at all on the eyes it's really thin and yet it lasts all day long and also the color of this one is just like a perfect inner corner highlight pop for the eyes. Moving on to some skincare favorites and the first one I have here is the Sunday Riley Luna, Luna Sleeping Night Oil and this has reached my holy grail status ever since our move last year so in August and you guys know during your move it's really straining on your body and I've been using this oil for those few nights thinking that my face is going to get really dull like breakouts and things like that but after using this my face didn't do those things at all it still kept its luminosity its radiance I didn't break out at all and from those few days of like you know my body and basically me feeling like shit but my face still like looked really really good I just can't live without this item this is actually a full size and full size of this is really expensive but I thought the finish it gave on my skin is just so nice I use two drops of this every single night along with my um, Kiehl's night recovery oil as well to mix it in and also dilute it because I don't want to use it that fast but yes, the results of this night oil is really amazing on the skin. The next skincare favorite is this lip mask. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have the flavor of grapefruit, but it doesn't really matter which one you get. They're all the same effect. Um, this lip mask basically gives me a real plumping effect to the lips after like wearing it throughout the night. And I'm really amazed by it because I haven't come across a lip conditioner that gives your lips a plumping effect. It, it does moisturize yes but one of the biggest thing I love this about is the plumping effect you guys know my upper lip is thinner than my bottom lip but ever since using this one and also another product I'll talk about my upper lip now is in proportion and looks a lot more plumper and puffier and I love this one for it so I'll use this one as an initial layer on my lips at night and on top I'll put my purple lip ointment to do the exfoliating thing and yes really recommend this for those who want a more plumper lip I mean which girl doesn't want a plumper moisturized lip so I recommend this to everyone talking about plumper lips the other device I've been using is this one this is the new face uh, face lifting microcurrent device I forgot the exact name but I'll link it down below so this head I have here is for the eyes and lips but I've been using this exclusively for the lips and it seriously gives you a plumping effect after one session and it's not the kind of effect that disappears after a few hours it actually lasts two to three days like the first time I went in store to have um, this one like the normal head done on to my face like the lifting effect it actually lasted two to, two to three days and I was really amazed by the um, long lasting ability of this microcurrent device so hence why I bought one for myself and I've been using this for the face area like my cheeks 
my um, forehead and majorly along the jawline and also my double chin area and this device helped that area out so much in terms of lifting and just holding that double chin area up like all day long without it coming down you know double chin you don't want it to come down you want it to go up and hopefully disappear and this device just helped me so much you guys can't probably tell but I've been talking for an hour and a half now and my battery is running low so I'll whiz through the next few items really fast so my perfume favorite of 2017 is this Jo Malone Basil and Neroli cologne and I've been loving this one I actually got the smaller one before like the 30 mils and I used that one all up and it's the first time for me to actually use a perfume all up that's why I went for the 100 ml now this is like my all-time favorite perfume it's not too strong like it has a really nice citrusy scent but it's not too fresh like sometimes you get a citrus scent that's just too sharp and too fresh this one still has a little bit of like floral musk in there and I've been just loving this perfume so much. My next favorite are hair drying turbans and I have two here at very different price points. The first one is this one by Aqueous and this is the really expensive one. And I got this one purely because this is for long hair. So you can put your hair all in there and then roll it up into a turban and tie it up at the top. But you don't have to go that expensive because this one I got from Japan is just this simple microfiber one. It does pretty much the same thing. So this one is like a tube and what I do is I'll tie it off at the end and make sure my hair is in there doing its thing. What like I don't really like my hair out in the open when I'm drying it so I like to have it in here. After the hair turbans have done its job I'll go in with my hair dryer and this one you guys can see is the Dyson one and I know it's really really expensive but I do really need something that has that strong airflow to dry the amount of hair and also the length of hair that I have. So what I do is I first go in with like a level 2 heat setting all over the hair to make sure everything's dry and once everything's dry I'll go in with cool again to cool everything down and then afterwards when you touch your hair it feels so smooth it still feels really really healthy it doesn't feel like a hair dryer has gone through it and damaged your hair it still keeps the integrity of your hair but just makes the hair drying process so much more efficient and I've been loving this hair dryer and I can't imagine like without it because right now it's impossible for me to dry my hair naturally. So guys, that's all of my 2017 favorites. It took me a while to pick them out and right now my camera is flashing red on me because it's running out of battery. I really hope this was able to help you guys out and really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all the best for 2018. Until next time, bye.